Hi, I'm Andrew Ferrier, the Managing Director of Akapi Resources. It's been an extremely busy period of time for us. We've done three or four transactions already. We closed the acquisition of our Athabasca Basin projects. We did another deal acquiring a 51% option on the Hanson deposit, which is our Tallahassee deposit in Colorado. That increased our overall chalk resource from 27 million pounds to close to 50 million pounds, 49.8 million pounds. We've already gone out and got drill permits on our Utah project. We've got a drill permit already on our Middle Lake project in Athabasca Basin. We've also been very busy here in New South Wales. We have another gold project, which is a bit of a, a relic asset in the sense that it's not a part of what our strategy is going forward, but it's very important from a valuation perspective for our carpet shareholders. We had some very good drilling results on that deposit last year. So we're very busy on the projects and that's been very much what my focus has been. But we've also done a lot with board of management. So we brought on a new chairman, Brian Hill, who joined us a couple of months ago. I know Brian very closely from the previous role. He's a very experienced mining executive based in Denver, which is great because it's close to the assets and that's where we want to be. And we've built out the management team. Um, Alan Roberts has joined, he's an industry expert with 30 years drilling experience in the US. Jim Villeneuve, who I worked very closely with, has been in the uranium space in the US for, for decades. He's taken projects all the way through permitting. He knows the in-situ recovery, uh, processing the technique extremely well. So we just broadening the team and bringing in experts to work alongside us. Going forward, we're looking at sort of looking at drilling at three or four of our different projects. We've lined that up to be able to do that in the next six months. And we're also looking for new opportunities as well. I have a very clear understanding of what does and doesn't work from a project parameter sense in the US. And that's both on the permitting side and on the technical side. You need to look at, look at both. I've got a, a great collection of assets in the US already, but the opportunities in front of me to go turn what is today a $35 million market cap company into a $300 million market cap company. I think I know how I can do it, but it's now my job to go and execute on it and actually get it done for shareholders.